my name is Cindy Rang, and I'm the owner of the Fabric Patch Quilt Shop in Efreda, Washington, and Gate 17 Retreat Center here in Soap Lake. I'm here with my daughter Brianna, and we just wanted to show you one of the new condos. We have four new condos that were just built uh, to go with the event center. So you can see that they are two bedroom with two twin beds in each bedroom and two bathrooms. So you're only sharing a bedroom and a bathroom with your roommate. You've got a thermostat that you can operate yourself, and then you can see that there's a large living space and, of course, a large four-piece kitchen that's fully equipped even with an ice maker so that you can prepare food in here if you want to. You probably don't need to because, of course, in the event center, there's a huge kitchen with a double oven. If you come here to do a retreat, you get the event center and two condos for $695. Uh, that's a two-night minimum. Or, and, and I think we only have three dates available for all of 2020 that are left. And so if you feel like you want to book that, you'll want to call us um, here pretty quickly. Uh, or your other option is you can do one of the retreats that we host. When we host a retreat, just bring a friend or come by yourself and meet a ton of new friends. We have five different ones that we do for the year, and I think that there is some space available in at least three of those. And again, you can contact us through email or call us at the shop and we can give you more information about that. There's also lots of other pictures and videos on our website at www.fabricpatch.net if you wanna see the rest of the facility. Um, so the reason that we're here for the video today is because when we host a retreat, uh, one of the things that we often will make for somebody is apple pie, uh, or skillet apple pie. It's just four ingredients, one pan, we make it all the time. There really isn't a recipe, and so when somebody asks how to make it, I kind of describe it and say there isn't really a recipe, this is just what you do, but um, they always feel like they want me to write it down anyway. And um, now that it's apple season, I thought that I would share this because I'm getting a lot of emails, texts, and phone calls about it. And also, if you happen to be somebody who um, cans your own apple pie filling, this is a perfect thing. You can just write it down as a recipe and give it along with somebody. So um, anyway, super easy to make. This is just going to take a couple minutes, and I'm just going to show you what you do. What you do is, um, it is seven tablespoons of butter. So a cube of butter, of course, has eight. So you're just going to cut off one and then throw the rest of that into your skillet and melt this. And then the other thing that you're going to add is a cup of brown sugar. Now, this is not keto friendly. This is not diabetic friendly. This is not diet food. This is easy food, that's it. Four ingredients. Um, it tastes really good, but yeah, it's, uh, don't think that it's, don't ask me how to make it, you know, less calories or um, better for you because it's just not, it's apple pie. Um, anyway, so of course caramel is butter and brown sugar, so that's kind of what you're doing. You don't have to stand here though and turn this whole thing into caramel. That's actually gonna happen in the oven. All you have to do is melt the butter. I should have had this melting while I was talking to you. All you have to do is um, melt the butter and stir this together. And there's other things that you can do uh, if you like to make your own pie crust, you can go ahead and do that. Sometimes I do, but oftentimes I just like the convenience of buying a pre-packaged box of pie crust. Okay, we'll let the rest of that butter melt. Can you do this with other Filling? Cookware. Other fillings, you know, you probably could, except part of what makes it really good is the caramel on the bottom. So I'm not so sure that caramel would go good with blueberry or peach, you know, so that's part of what makes it so good. And the caramel filling on the bottom, you might feel like you don't want to do that, but um, it serves two purposes. One is it makes it like super decadent, which is really what we want. And the other thing is um, it makes it so that it doesn't stick to your pan. And so it's um, it's a good thing. All right, so after you've done that, you're done. And again, you don't have to wait until that turns into caramel. All of that will happen 
um, in the oven. You turn your oven on to 400 degrees, and then, again, these are just the pre-packaged pie crust. It's about two bucks, you know, so it's, it's really convenient, and um, it's already all rolled out for you, and it turns out super good. So all you do is you're just going to put this over the top of that weird caramel stuff that you just made. And then you take a can of pie filling, or again, if you have made your own. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be very much, but it is. Don't overfill it or else it's kind of hard to, to fix the edges. Then you take your second one. And what you can do, the one that I'm gonna pull out of the oven in a minute magically, all I did was I took the top and I just laid it down and squished it around and I wanted you to see what that looks like. But normally when I make it for a group, I kind of tuck this over. So see what I'm doing? I'm grabbing that end and I'm tucking that over. And then you're sealing it because then what happens is nobody, all of that caramel kind of stays underneath there and it becomes this surprise at the end. Um, or if you don't mind it bubbling around, you can just drop it down. And then after you do that, you can make it really pretty if you want to by kind of squishing up the edges. You're still going to get some of that caramel on the edge, and what's going to happen is it's gonna turn kind of crunchy. And then just cut a couple holes in the top, and that's it. You're gonna bake it in the oven for um, 30 minutes. 400 degrees and so this one is done and this is what it looks like if you don't scrunch around those edges. I'm going to put this one in and then it's just really nice because then what happens is you have this nice apple pie and you can cut the pieces as big or as small as you want to but then see what you have underneath here See all of those kind of crispy bits that are kind of nice? And then underneath, it's just all caramely. So anyway, we serve it warm with ice cream and it, it's always a big hit at our retreats and we just thought we would share the recipe with you. So happy fall.